Hello everybody and welcome to your sixth tutorial on uh, learning how to program C++ and uh, in this tutorial we're gonna like kind of um, stray away from the code and we're gonna be learning on how to use a debugger so uh, the debugger and every single compiler is different they might give you different error messages than other compilers so I can't teach you specific error messages but I will teach you exactly how the debugger works now first of all before we begin a lot of you might be asking how I have the line numbers up here now I think in code blocks by default they show the line numbers if not then uh, I think you'll go to tools and or settings or then environment settings I'm not really sure I don't have uh, code blocks open right now so I'm not really sure but for our uh, Visual Studio users or Visual C++ Express users what we want to do is we want to go to tools and uh, we'll want to go to the bottom so we're gonna click sorry we're gonna click tools and options at the bottom so once you click that uh, this window is gonna show up and what you want to do is go to text editor and you want to select that and uh, for your I don't know if it's in general as well no for so select your language with C++ for me and you just have to select line numbers and click OK and once you do that okay I don't know why it's freezing on me but anyways once you do that uh, your line numbers will show up on the side and those are gonna be uh, really really important when it comes uh, to debugging because uh, they show you line numbers where your errors are okay so now let us create an error okay so I'm going to say plus C okay so in 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 Visual Studio to run the debugger you click F5 not control F5 you just click F5 uh, in in code blocks I believe it's F8 alright so what we do is we're gonna click F5 and they're gonna tell us to run it now in Visual Studio they'll normally give you uh, they'll normally give you a red underline and you know something went wrong but sometimes like later on and when you get into programs and stuff you might something might rely on something else and I might not show you the error before you run it or it might show you in the middle of the program etc etc so it's good to start using the debugger but at the bottom we see that it will say IntelliSense identifier C is undefined but something like a code blocks or something does not have IntelliSense and it, it won't really show you the error uh, before you run it so let's just run this and act like uh, we never noticed that red line and they will tell us okay so we say no because it's only going to run on our last successful build so what we had last um build so if we notice right here it's going to say uh for error it gives our the error number it says c undeclared identifier so that's basically telling you exactly what the error is now sometimes the errors it's in some debuggers sometimes the errors are not that clear sometimes you really don't know what it, it means so sometimes you might have to search google to understand what it means but it really helps because uh, we can, it tells us which uh, file it's in. So it's a main.cpp, what line number, uh, which column, and which project. And if we were to double click it, so if I double click it right here, it shows us exactly which line number it's on. If you see this dash right here, it shows us there, and sometimes it will highlight the line. So another good thing about uh, debugging is that we can add in breakpoints. So let us get rid of this right here. So we can add in breakpoints. So if we ever want to see what's going on exactly in our program, we can add in breakpoints to see what uh, exactly is going on up until this point. So to add a breakpoint in Visual Studio, you click F9. And I don't remember what it is in code blocks, but you just go to the side and just click the side. You can do that uh, with Visual Studio as well. So what a breakpoint will do is that when it reaches this section of the code, it will stop the code and therefore it will pause it and it will let you see everything that has gone up, uh, gone on up to that point. So if I run this program right now, it will run and it's going to ask us to input a number 25 output 40 again. So it reached our breakpoint. So if you see our breakpoint, it shows a yellow, uh, it lets us know when there's a yellow error there arrow there so if you look down here it gives us the value of our number one 
uh, which is 25 and a number two which is 40 and but for now it, this statement hasn't executed yet so if you notice it says a result is negative whatever that big number is so if we add another breakpoint and we click continue you'll notice that uh, our result has changed right so at this point result doesn't have a value yet so it gives us a random negative value and so it gives the value of number and two so we could check to see uh sometimes you might have errors in your program and you're, you suspect one error one area is causing a problem or one variable is causing a problem so what you could do is check to see the variables values if they're the correct values etc etc so i checked yeah i inputted 25 for number one i inputted 20 uh 40 for number two and the result should be uh 65 so i know that everything should run smoothly here and I can remove my breakpoints click F5 to continue uh, running the program you just uh, click continue and then if we see our program uh, then everything has run smoothly so uh, that's just a gist of how to use the debugger uh, there, there's many more things you could do with the debugger but for for the most part that's what you're going to be doing for most of your time when programming with C++ so uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching and bye.